Hello, I am Dr. Mankan Swami, consultant and orthopedic surgeon and faculty at Next Fellow. Coming to the question, all are true about meniscus of knee joint except. Before answering to this question, we should know the basic differences between medial meniscus and lateral meniscus of the knee joint. The meniscus contains three parts, anterior horn, posterior horn and the middle broader part is called body. In the lateral meniscus, the anterior horn and posterior horn are very close together. That's why the shape is circular. In the medial meniscus, the anterior horn and posterior horn are far apart. That's why the shape is semicircular or C-shaped. The medial meniscus, the body is attached to the joint capsule with the medial ligament. But lateral meniscus is free from any attachments to the capsule. Only the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus is attached to the posterior cruciate ligament that is PCL with the help of two small ligaments called ligament of Wiesberg and ligament of Humphrey. And look at the picture. The lateral meniscus is covering major part of the tibial articular surface but the medial meniscus is not covering more than 50% of the tibial articular surface. Coming back to the options, option A. Lateral meniscus covers more articular surface of the tibia. Yes, it is correct. You can look at the picture. Lateral meniscus is more mobile. Yes, the major part of the meniscus that is body of, is free from any attachments. That's why lateral meniscus is more mobile. Lateral meniscus is more prone to injury. That is wrong because lateral meniscus doesn't have any attachments. It is free to move during any injuries or a contact sports. But the medial meniscus is attached to the adjacent capsule. It can move only by tearing the tearing it by itself. That's why medial meniscus tears are more common when compared to the lateral meniscus. Lateral meniscus is circular. Yes, because the anterior horn and posterior horn are closer, it forms a shape C circular.